Today we're making short ribs. Now, if you've never had these before, you've got to try them. I'm going to be cooking them up in the instant pot today because it'll only take about 40, 45 minutes to cook them as opposed to many hours. And so I wanted to speed things up for you. Now, the reason that short ribs are so delicious is because it's one cut of meat that has an awful lot of marbling in it, and that's what gives it all of its flavor. And these come out so tender and just incredibly delicious that you, you just gotta try them. So those of you that haven't met me yet, maybe you're new to my channel, I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. <laughs> okay, so here's chef joke number one. What happened to the lost beef shipment? Nobody's heard. <laughs> We're gonna start off here by chopping up some celery, red onion, and carrot so that we can create our base for our sauce for our short ribs. So I'm gonna go ahead and coarsely chop my onion because all of my vegetables here are gonna end up going in the blender so it's a nice smooth sauce. For the carrot, I'm just gonna cut it into little coins. For the celery, I find it easiest just to cut nice long strips and then chop it the other direction and you get a nice small dice. This is our mirepoix. Next, I'm gonna mince up some fresh garlic, about three or four cloves. Okay, so now let's talk about the short ribs. You want to get the kind that are called English, and they have a bone in them. So when you go to pick them out at the store, buy the fatter ones. The thinner ones tend to have a higher ratio of fat to meat, so get those fat ones if you can. So we're going to season up our ribs with salt, so make sure you sprinkle salt all over the ribs. I'll place these on a tray and head over to the stove. I'm preheating a cast iron pan over medium-high heat and we'll add some olive oil to the pan. When the oil gets hot, we'll add the ribs to the pan. When you lay the ribs in the pan, make sure you give them a little bit of room. Don't have them touching each other. Now let them sear for about two to three minutes and don't touch them, don't turn them, just let them be. Now remember, you're going to turn these over and brown all four sides. So take your time and let it happen. When they're done, just place them on a plate and keep them warm. Turn the temperature down to low and add the mirepoix. Now, depending on how much oil or grease is left in your pan, you're probably going to want to add some olive oil to this, about a tablespoon or so. Now, we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes or so, or until the carrots are soft enough to be blended in a blender. I'm also adding some salt here. Add a lid to this and then that'll help speed up the cooking of the carrots. After about 10 minutes, take the lid off and check the carrots for tenderness by using a fork. So mine need to cook another two or three minutes. Carrots are done and so now it's time to add some garlic. We're gonna stir that in for one minute and then we're gonna add some fire roasted diced tomatoes. Stir those in and then turn off the heat and let this cool for about five minutes before placing it in your blender. So I've got a really sad looking basil plant here so I'm gonna use up the leaves on this and we're just gonna stack them on top of each other and then roll them up and chop away. So this is a technique called chiffonade. So we'll place that basil right into the blender. You're gonna to wanna to add just enough chicken broth to make this blend up nicely. Okay, at this point, we are ready to put this in the Instant Pot. Now, if you don't have an Instant Pot and you wanna do it on the stove, you're just gonna put everything in a big stock pot and let it cook for a minimum of four hours, but probably six, maybe even seven. Okay, I'm gonna start with our sauce here and I'm gonna pour that in. You can taste it at this point and see if you need to add any salt. That might be not a bad idea. I've done that already. 
Now to get the rest of that sauce out of the blender, I'm going to pour in some chicken broth to kind of rinse it out. I'm going to add some white wine to this, some Sauvignon Blanc, uh, probably about a half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup. So basically you want to keep the liquid about rack height. Okay, the short ribs are going in next. We'll just set it. I have my little grate in there. You don't have to use it. It can sit right in the sauce. That's fine. Here are the ribs in the Instant Pot. I basically just stacked them in there on top of each other. Okay, now we'll just put this on and start cooking. Make sure your vent is in the proper place. And we're gonna do pressure cook for 43 minutes. All right, so since we have to wait for our beef to cook, it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. Where do cows go for lunch? The cafeteria. <laughs> While the ribs are cooking, we're gonna mix up a little slurry here with some arrowroot. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of it, and we're gonna add to that some chicken broth and stir it up until it's nice and smooth. Now that the ribs are done, we're going to take them out and I'm going to place them on a plate here and then we're going to work on the sauce. I'm pouring the sauce here into a bowl so you can see it's pretty thin and there's also going to be a nice layer of fat floating on the top and I'm going to try and skim off as much of that as I can. Once this cools completely, it'll be much easier to skim off the grease because it'll float and get solid on the top. But for now, since we want to eat it, I'm going to do this and then we're going to thicken it up with our arrowroot. So I place the sauce back into the Instant Pot and put it on to saute for about nine minutes total. And you can see now it's gonna start coming to a simmer and that's when we'll add the arrowroot. Now you wanna stir that constantly so that it doesn't clump up. Once you pour it all in and you see that it's smoothed out and it's thickened up, then you know it's done. Here's what the sauce will look like when it's done. It's just a little bit thick and so it'll coat those potatoes or whatever you're serving this with nicely. Uh, I'm serving these up with some cauliflower mashed potatoes and I'll leave a link for you if you want to make these. They are delicious. So we'll place some of those cauliflower mashed potatoes right there on our plate. Next is our incredibly tender short rib. Look at that. And now for that incredibly delicious sauce. Drizzle that right over the top. Now I love basil, so guess what we're sprinkling on top here? Basil, of course, nice and fresh. This is so tender and so flavorful, you're gonna love it. You're probably gonna wanna try these cauliflower mashed potatoes with this recipe. They are so easy to make and they keep the carbs low too. If you enjoyed today's video, you can let me know by smashing the like button. And if you have a comment or a recipe request, let me know down in the comments. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe.